thank you very much indeed, Mark, for joining us again to preview Gold Food Manufacturing, which is coming up in just a month or two time. So uh, very keenly anticipating that. So if we could begin by you know, your thoughts about how the preparations are going for this year's event. Thank you. We've got very, very high expectations for this, the 14th edition of uh, Yamex ISM Middle East. And we're, we're excited to be providing this live in-person platform for all of the major players from the global sweets and snacks industry to come together again in a safe environment for three days of networking and most importantly, deal making. Uh, this is the number one sweets and snacks event for the Middle East and Africa region. It's got a proven track record of meeting the demands of a, of a growing market. And um, uh, for us, uh, having here at Dubai World Trade Center, having hosted 56 in-person events over the last year, uh, we know that we can conduct events in not only a safe manner, you know, we're proven to um, ensure that people can connect in a, in a safe way. And, uh, and I think people are, are realizing now that the best business is that that is done face to face. And uh, uh, whilst, you know, being able to uh, have a video call like this is fantastic. Um, we can't share a cup of coffee together and I, I certainly can't taste any products in a virtual environment. And this is why live events are so important when you need to sample and taste and um, uh, test these innovations in, in, in a live environment. And I think that has been something that has been sadly missing from all of our lives over the last well, far too long. Um, but now, you know, we're back to live in-person events and uh, Dubai has been voted the safest city in the world for exhibitions. At, uh, uh, I mean, you all know our Gulf Food event that took place in, in February, um, both in February 2020 and February 21. Probably one of the few events globally to uh, not, not skip a beat during the pandemic, but 99.4% uh, of our attendees reported the event to be safe and very safe to conduct business. And so I think this is a, this is a great opportunity for the global sweets and snacks market to reconvene, to meet again live and in person, and to look at how the market has been and consumer behavior has been shifting over uh, these recent times. And so for us to have major retailers, hospitality, food distributors across the region coming back and looking at sourcing you know, desserts, pastries, new snack concepts, what are the latest trends in confectionery, how are consumers' behaviour shifting, are we in more at home snacking and sweet indulgences? These are all the things that live trade shows are great for. Obviously, we, didn't, we weren't able to hold the show last year in Dubai because of the pandemic, so how much was the loss of not being able to hold it then felt in the, in the region, would you say? Was it a big, big loss not being able to stage it last year? I, I think it was a huge disappointment for, for, for many in business, um, both for buyers who rely on these sort of events to see what the latest innovations are, to connect with um, partners. And, you know, you think what has been happening to global supply chains over the last year and a half, in massive disruption to supply chain. And to meet new suppliers, you, know, you need to do it face to face. Right. When you're sourcing new products, again, you know, I might have the best snacking concept in the world, but if you can't sample it, if you can't touch, taste, experience the product live, then, you know, it's a very different, difficult sales proposition, right? So, and especially in this part of the world, you know, face-to-face, -face, direct contact is critically important. You Indeed. have to meet your market. So the fact that it didn't happen last time was... Uh, was a great disappointment for all. Um, but now that we're back, we've seen huge interest um, across the globe in, in getting, getting back to, there are so, so few events globally that are taking place. And you know, our friends in Cologne, this is why we have Mr. Stecker here joining us today, who is uh, 
uh, the senior vice president at uh, Golden Messe, who are our joint venture partners on the event. Um, Dennis and I have worked together for many, many years, building this event to something I think is truly of global importance. And, uh, and in his spare time, he's also been managing the German pavilion at uh, Expo 2020. And this is why Dennis is in Dubai and uh, here are our offices today. So it was a wonderful opportunity for us to get together. And uh, so you, you've got both of the major stakeholders, the Dubai World Trade Center, who also uh, uh, you know, have Gulf Food and Berlin Messe with such events as ISM and uh, the Inuga Trade Fair. So uh, uh, you know, you've got two of the strongest uh, food trade show players in the world um, cooperating together to build an event like this. And uh, uh, I think we're very privileged to be able to host such an event uh, with such uh, talented uh, business partners as well. Indeed, and thank you for that, Mark. And if I could just bring Dennis in on that note in regards to the, the expo, how significant do you believe that's going to be for Dubai and will it complement Gulf Food and Yumex in your eyes? Yeah. Um... First of all, I think uh, Expo always has a global impact, uh, but not only for a certain industry, like a sector like Yamex or the, the confectionery sector, but for the global audience uh, people. Um, and based on the, on the topic of the Expo, connecting minds, connecting people, I think this is also a good um, over a headline also for, for all the shows that are taking place, specifically here in the place of Dubai. Uh, in the Dubai World Trade Center. And uh, I think it, it contributes a lot specifically um, since post-COVID, post-COVID, but at least uh, when, when we believe post-COVID, um, that we see um, that if there are people who, um, uh, or exhibitors um, and, and, and visitors who might need a final reason to, to really travel, then I think Expo contributes a lot, but of course should not be the main reason. Um, as Mark said rightly, uh, I totally believe uh, that uh, all the visitors, specifically the visitors that are making their way to Dubai, and there were a lot in the past, like the examples that Mark has given, there are a lot of exhibitions that took place already safely and uh, successfully. And even if there are uh, maybe uh, not exactly the same number of visitors in quantity, what we learned from all the exhibitors, uh, or what, what the World Trade Center learned from all its exhibitors is that the visitors that were there, they were all there to make business and to make concrete orders, or at least to prepare co concrete orders. And I think this is the potential that specifically our international guests, uh, exhibitors, are definitely, that, that's the reason why they are uh, coming. And um, so it, it's a perfect fit, actually, the, the expo being, yeah, at this stage of the of the um, pandemic situation in the world, or non-pandemic situation anymore in the world, uh, or in the ex yeah, getting better situation in the improving in uh, situation that we are there uh, at the same t at the right time. Sure, and the expo itself is billed as being a real celebration of technology and innovation. How excited are you about the prospects for it finally arriving in Dubai now? <laughs> really, <laughs> really excited, of course. Um, I mean, of course, uh, uh, our perspective is very much on, on uh, the German pavilion and, of course, uh, of, the, of the world uh, uh, that is coming together uh, during that uh, show. No, I, I can tell you we, we, we had yesterday um, a big uh, um, um, tour through the, through, through the pavilion and also through the expo. Um, uh, itself, the entire expo venue or the, the, the area, and it's, it's fantastic if you see that it's all there, having almost open doors and waiting for the big audience uh, from all over the world. And uh, I think that is something that will happen and will, will show the world also that we are getting back to a new normal, I guess. Great. And, and how will it contrast to Colmes's other many events that are staged throughout the year? Is it sort of be quite a, some contrast, I imagine, through, through your uh, regular events? It's a, it's a kind of slightly different uh, business. Um, it's all about professional organization. 
Um, so and um, <laughs> it's, it's, I would say it's a good exercise uh, to learn a lot, also what we can contribute uh, to, to our normal shows and uh, to really see all these, uh, hopefully, and, and, or, which are announced the masses of, of, of people, how to manage them, to get the right information and the right business opportunities, the right people. I think that is what drives us and uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a good driver. I think everyone hopes it will be. So great stuff, Dennis. Thank you for that. And if I could just come back to, to Mark in terms of Gold Food and Yumex itself. Then, uh, so Dubai has proved itself to have had a, a strong share in the market through the shows that have been staged in Dubai. Uh, is that a trend that you're expecting to continue this year through new innovations being showcased? Well, look for... Uh... For Gulf food manufacturing, the one thing that I can say is it will be the number one machinery and equipment show um, that will have taken place during 2020 and 2021. Because nothing else has run. It's been the only part of the world that's been able to pull this off. And, uh, you know, across the events, we're going to take up uh, 14 exhibition halls. Yumex alone has got exhibitors from 33 countries, 250 global players, taking two, two exhibition halls. Um, th and this is just, th th this is just the UMEX, right? It's, um, it's become a very powerful show in its own right. And look, it, it, you know, uh, during these, uh, awful times, you know, chocolate still remains a popular snack, right? Confectionery is still perceived as a, as a treat, as a comfort food. And the sweets and snacks market um, has seen uh, a different demand pattern uh, as consumers sort of look at ways to ward off stress and anxiety, right? It, it's, uh, I think 70 um, odd percent of uh, consumers say that confectionery is an important part of their emotional well-being. And I'm thinking, what about that other 28%? You know, confectionery. You know, it, you know, but you know, a piece of a piece of chocolate, or, or, you know, a nice treat is it, it, always a make me feel better, right? Uh, and I think consumers are eating the same amount, if not more, during the course of the pandemic. And of course, I was saying, what's happened to different supply and demand patterns you know when there are huge infrastructure changes like that these are the conditions that create uh, uh, um, some important sales levers because you know uh, buyers are looking at new suppliers um, if they can't source from traditional markets they're looking at new they're looking for new suppliers and this is why trade shows are important and the bottom line is the confectionery is a strong and important category that offers inexpensive treats and premium indulgence and the current change in the environment has just helped in unearthing consumers' cravings and it's in shaping the future landscape for product innovation and brand positioning. And that's exactly why it shows strength uh, events like Yumix in good and bad economic times. So, you know, we're looking forward to hosting these latest innovations from what is a very forward-thinking sector, um, covering everything from chocolate, confectionery, snacks, healthy natural sweets, deep frozen confectionery, dates and free from products. And um, we're very much looking forward to uh, um, people joining us and um, also being able to attend Expo 2020 at the same time. So um, very easy, just run it. You know, register online um, and we'll take all of our visitors through the very simple registration uh, process and uh, um, print a home badge easy just to walk in no queuing um, and people will have a very safe enjoyable most importantly productive productive meeting environment and uh, i think it's all important that we all get back to business as quickly as we can, and, and we've been doing that for quite some time now, overdue for many. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you for that. And 
Uh, just coming back to the theme of Yumex you mentioned there before, uh, from my previous visit in 2019, the show appeared to really uh, attract some of the major players as well as many local brands as well. So is that a pattern you're expecting to continue for, for this year's event? Uh, absolutely. Uh, the, the, the concept behind the Amex is that um, international suppliers can come and meet the entire regional marketplace. So, uh, um, you know, as I say, you have suppliers from 33 countries around the world um, who are joining us here in Dubai to meet uh, customers and prospective customers from some of the most important growth markets. You know, uh, for chocolate, uh, this region is one of the most important in the world. And, um, you know, many people that I talk to tell me that uh, Africa is such an important um, and developing marketplace. And, you know, I'm quite a simple fella. You know, I have to look at things in a very simple mathematical way. And I think if global population was going to go from 7 billion to 9 billion by 2050, and 1 billion of that population growth is in Africa, um, that's a lot more consumers of your uh, sweets and snacking products. And, uh, and I think this is why so many people are interested in Africa. And Dubai has long been known as, uh, as an important gateway. A supply market for uh, the, the whole of the uh, African continent and if you look at uh, some of the infrastructure um, partnerships that have been going on between the UAE and Africa you, you, will, you will see that that has been recognized here and of course I think this is why the vendor community want to come and join here and of course um, it's so easy for uh, Africa to travel to the UAE and Dubai in particular so uh, you know it's a it's a great meeting point and yes, as you say, um, it's a place where you can meet all of the major uh, 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 and important local distributors and our local manufacturers as well, um, uh, who can put um, local demand in context and you meet all of the international suppliers, um, many of whom you'll also see at uh, the ISM event in, the, uh, in Cologne. You, they, they come here because they find this is a very productive marketplace for them and, uh, and a great place to be as well. You know, when, when, when business is always a pleasure and Dubai is a very uh, 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 enjoyable place to come and, come and conduct business, it makes business easy and it makes it a pleasure and it's also successful. So, uh, yeah, you'll see more of the same, but just bigger and better. <laughs>